Hi again then guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 build for in particular straight line performance and this is in a similar way to the RX-8 which we did earlier this week and some other tunes of course as well one of the lesser powered cars which we've done usually you're running a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred horsepower this one doesn't, this one's got 775 and from a 3.2 litre engine that's pretty impressive now the performance is lower of course it's lower than many of the other supercars in the game, but just like the RX-8, this Alfa Romeo 4C is what I would call more of a speciality car. It's a vehicle not for people who are looking necessarily for the best car, but just for people who like this vehicle specifically and like to use it just because of that. I can identify with that. Stuff like the Maserati MC-12 is like that for me. It's not necessarily the best supercar, but I love using it just because I love the car so much. So this is that kind of build, a tune set up for people who want to represent a car they love. So as far as the engine, I would recommend that V8 race conversion. As far as the drivetrain, I would recommend all-wheel drive. As far as aspiration, I would recommend, again, the twin turbo. And then for the rest, it's pretty obvious. Increase the power, lower the weight, all that kind of good stuff. As you can see, we do have a roll cage. That's optional. You don't necessarily have to go for that. It's not essential for straight line performance. It's more about handling, really. So, as I said, it's down to you. And as far as the tuning, and initially as well the benchmark, the acceleration is very impressive for its power. Because, of course, it is a very lightweight, small, compact vehicle. And that really helps off the line. 2.2 to 60 is very cool. 3. Point, or 4.3 even to 100 is very impressive as well. And the top speed is not bad. 245 from its power is perfectly respectable. Now, as far as the gearbox, I would recommend a 4 final drive, then individual gear ratios of 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.17, 1 0.95, and 0.78. For alignment, neutral camber and tow, as we often do. So, unless you want to change that specifically, you don't really need to. I've gone for 6 degrees of caster which stiffens up the steering a bit more, especially at higher speeds. It depends what you want. You could go lower, could go higher. Anti-roll we've got on 25. Springs on 80 and 140, and I've opted for the lowest ride height front and rear. Dampers on 11, 17, 5 and 7. Aero doesn't apply on this build. And for the diff, of course, if you've been here on my channel before, you know the drill. 100% on acceleration, zero on decel, unless you specifically want it another way. And for this car, 80% in favour of the back end. So you've got that 20% going to the front to help with launch, to help off-road, and just to help with control in general, especially when you're getting the tail out, maybe in a racing situation on a twistier track, and putting down that 775 horsepower. So that's it for the tune, which, incidentally, you can find on my storefront by using the keywords down below. But now let's actually take the car out and prove it on the street. As with some of the other tunes which we've done for other, maybe lesser powered vehicles or just vehicles in general which aren't designed for pure top end performance, this is a car which you need a longer straight to get the best out of. It can hit 245 as you can see from driving it, but it does need a longer straight to get there. So just like some of my other tunes for slightly slower cars, it's more a case of giving you that speed when you know you're going to need it rather than the kind of car which is necessarily going to spend all the time at that speed. It's more like a fail-safe, if you will. It gives you that extra boost knowing you have that top speed when you need it. So overall, if you do use this tune, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And of course, you can sub down below for more tunes like this in the future and the ones which we've already done. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.